When we first started, technically speaking, we weren't partners, I was their boss. Mm -hmm. uh, I was an executive producer and it was my production company, so technically they were working for me. Um, but uh, when we met, I think we had an instant connection because we're three ex-New Yorkers and uh, we grew up with similar backgrounds. Uh, and uh, they had been very uh, immersed in the New York theater scene and, you know, uh, um, there was a place called O'Neill's Balloon that used to present like um, review kind of shows, uh, musical variety shows, musical theater shows really, no, not so much variety, um, uh, that Martin and David used to write original numbers for. And uh, so, um, so we were three New Yorkers and uh, we had shorthand with each other and uh, uh, what was great about the relationship is we all loved doing different things. Uh, I loved the big picture, the big vision. What was it going to look like? What was it going to sound like? Uh, how was it going to be presented? How was it going to be edited? How was it going to be shot? Uh, sort of uh, those big things. Marta was very uh, uh, immersed in the performance aspect of it and she wanted to be on the stage and work with the actors and always make sure that the intention of the script was uh, well portrayed in, in, in what was shot. So Marta would always be on the stage, you know, watching the shooting and uh, she was in the writer's room also but um, she loved being on the stage. And David is just your, your defining writer. Uh, you know, he, he's everything that a writer is and needs to be. He loves writing, he loves working with his staff. Uh, uh, you know, I would tell you that at a certain point maybe he loved working on all, uh, all hours of the day and night, but I think that love faded. Uh, as we got closer and closer to friends. Um, so uh, I think it would, there was the realization at some point about how we complimented each other and how we were having a good time and uh, you know we all had similar, ultimately similar thoughts about how things should play out and um, I think it was Marta that said, uh, um, you know, this is so great, wouldn't it be great if we could just always work like this? And I think I said, well, we could. We just need to become partners. And uh, so we decided to do that that mm -hmm. day. And I think it happened in a week or something like that. And, uh, and then we, we went on. Yeah. And uh, with Dream On, it was one of those uh, things that happens in television where the company that you're working for feels you owe them rather than they owe you for creating success for them. So uh, our deal at Universal was gonna be up at Dream, on Dream On, and uh, we became a company together and we went out and we took meetings with uh, all of the studios at Disney and Warner Brothers. Um, but Universal seemed to be the only studio that wasn't that anxious to meet with us nor make us an offer. Mm. So uh, they thought that we had a show on the air there. Why would we ever leave? You know, well, we're not leaving. We're not going anywhere. This is just a show. So uh, we met with Les Moonves over at Warner Brothers. And uh, Les is uh, the type of man that, you know, uh, when you sit to him and he tells you about why he wants to hire you and what he sees for you at his studio. Uh, you get a tremendous amount of co confidence and you just, uh, you believe everything that he says is gonna be true. And also, um, we love the single camera film style of doing sitcom. We really didn't want to do the multi-camera film at all. Remember, we said to them, the only thing we don't want to do is a family in a living room with four cameras. That's the only thing we don't want to do. So Les was willing to fight for us to be able to do single camera film comedy at a time where it was not the du jour on uh, TV. Um, so, uh, because of the expense of that, well, yeah. Um, so, um, so we decided to go with Warner Brothers, and 
we told uh, Universal we were leaving, and they were like, oh, well, wait a minute, we'll, we'll match their offer, we'll do better. We said yes, it's too late. Can't go back and say, hey, they made us a better offer.